Okay, dogs are obviously the best thing in the world. Is that right, girl? But how long has it been this way? Dogs are obviously a huge part of our modern world, but how far back in time can we find puppy love? There are hundreds of paintings from the early modern and medieval period showing dogs in domestic settings. But some of the most moving instances of human devotion to dogs comes from ancient Rome. The burial of Patricus, a dog buried by its owner in Salerno, Italy, contains this epitaph. My eyes were wet with tears, our dear little dog, when I brought you to the grave. You, sweet Patricus, would come to our table and in my lap to ask for bits in your flattering way. You would lick with eager tongue the dish which my hands held up to you while your tail showed your joy. So, Patricus, never again shall you give me a thousand kisses. Never again can you lie contentedly in my lap. Ah, me, what a loved companion we have lost. <laughs> so clearly people love dogs at least 2,000 years ago. But what if I told you that that connection is much deeper and nearly as old as time itself? There's debatable evidence before this point, but perhaps the first universally agreed upon domestic dog and the archaeological record comes from Bonn Obercastle in Western Germany. In 1914, two human skeletons were discovered in a quarry along with animal bones that were initially identified as wolf. For 50 years, the remains were largely ignored in a nearby museum, but in the 1970s, the remains were reinterpreted as a domestic dog. Now, the site has been dated to 14,200 years before present, during the late Pleistocene, or basically at the end of the Ice Age in Europe. That means that dogs were domesticated thousands of years before any other animal or plant. 14,000 years ago is before farming and cities, nearly anything you can think of, and dogs were right there with us the whole way through. The Bon Arbor Castle dog is notable not only for its age, but for its archaeological context. It was buried close to two people, an approximately 40-year-old man and a 25-year-old woman. The graves, including the dog, were covered with basalt blocks and dusted with a layer of ochre, which is a bright red mineral powder that wasn't available locally. So it seems clear that the dog was purposely buried along with the people at the same time. Now there are many possible reasons for why the dog was buried with the people. But recent bioarchaeological studies help point to an answer. The dog was determined to be a puppy that died when it was about 28 weeks old. Additionally, pathological features on its teeth indicate that it was sick, likely with canine distemper that it had caught several months before. So this wasn't a hunting dog or a guard dog. This was a poor, sick puppy that had no practical use to the people at Oberkassel. And yet it appears it was cared for, enough for it to survive several months with an illness that would have certainly doomed it earlier had it not been for human support. It's possible that the dog's burial had some sort of religious function, such as a sacrifice. But I like to think that it was simply just two people 14,000 years ago who really loved their dog. So the next time that you give your dog a hug, know that you're tapping into a connection that is deeper and older than almost anything in humanity. Right, Moon Girl? Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more poopy archaeology. <laughs>